filming my current favorites. I was doing monthly favorites, but I think I like more of the current favorite type videos anyways because they're not every single month because not everything is always going to change every single month for me. If I like products, I tend to stick with them and then I'll throw in some new things here and there. So I might just be doing them seasonal now or every couple months just to make it a little bit easier and so there's not like a lot of repetitive stuff. And a lot of this stuff I think I have talked about before maybe in a haul or something, but I just wanted to kind of update you guys on how I've been liking everything and there's some great kind of spring products and everything in here too. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to first start off with the products I have been obsessed with this spring and that is the Sun Goddess Self Tanning Lotion. You guys know I did a whole tutorial and review on how to apply this, a bunch of tips and everything all packed into one video and a review as well on this on how to apply self tanner. I will link that for you guys down below. You also have the chance to win this in my current giveaway that I have going on. I'm not sure if you're going to see this video while the giveaway is still going on, but if so, all that stuff will be linked down below where you can enter. I'll probably have a link going on somewhere in the video where you can go enter, but I am going to have this included in there, so you're going to have a chance to win your own Sun Goddess self tanning lotion, but I love this stuff. It's the best self tanner I've ever tried. It doesn't make you look orange. It's just like the best self tanner. I, I go into full detail in the review so you might as well just check that out if you're interested in self tanner. It's a much safer way of tanning and I just think it's great for the springtime. It's great for the springtime because you know you haven't been tan and stuff because it hasn't been summer and then you have summer coming up so you want to start wearing you know shorts and skirts and everything so this is great to kind of liven up your winter skin. So then I have a couple face products here. The first one is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. I got mine in the shade Nude Beige which was a little bit dark for me when I first bought it but now that I've been self tanning it's like the perfect shade but this is a three-in-one foundation so it's supposed to be a primer a foundation and a concealer or maybe powder too yeah it says lasting power of primer coverage of a concealer and blendability of a foundation in one and it's shine free so I definitely think this is great for oily skin I have dry skin so sometimes it can be annoying that it will look too flat on my skin but if you have oily skin or for the summer months this is going to be perfect because it's so mattifying you don't even really need a powder with it I mean I still use one to set my concealer and everything but I don't go like full on out with a full face of powder over this because it just dries to that matte finish where you don't even really need one and it really has awesome coverage and the staying power is just amazing it lasts on me all day long it doesn't wear off like on my chin area and stuff because I tend to sit like this so my foundation will wear away right there and that gets on my nerves because I have a lot of redness on my chin but this just stays all day long and my foundation still looks great by the end of the day so I will have a full review or maybe even a foundation routine if you guys want to see that and I'll go into more in depth on how I apply this but I've just been using a flat top kabuki brush to apply and I just love this so much um, I haven't been wearing it every single day just because it is like a heavier foundation um, but on days that I don't want to wear a lot of foundation, I have been using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I've talked about this so much on my channel because I just love it. And whenever I don't want to wear a lot or just on days where I might have just one class to go to real quick or something, I'll just put this all over my face. And it does a great job at evening out my skin tone and it matches my skin when I'm self tan because it's a little bit dark for me. Mine's in the shade Soft Beige. But the shade I get in the winter is actually fairly medium or... I can't remember the exact name of it off the top of my head, but it's the next shade down from this. It's more of a pinky tone, and that's a lot lighter. But this is a really great coverage powder foundation. It's great for setting your foundation. I actually use it over top of this to set just the concealer and everything. And it just gives you that added coverage without having to apply another layer of foundation. Just like it says in the name, it's not too flat, so it's not going to make you look too powdery or cakey anything. I never get cakey when I'm wearing this, even over top of a foundation. So then for my concealer, I have been loving the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye eye concealer and this definitely works only underneath your eyes I don't really like it on any blemishes I think it kind of breaks me out a little bit because of the moisturizers in it. I just think it's too much for your face but this is excellent for underneath the eyes and it's actually swirled with that white moisturizer stuff and then the rest of it is just the makeup and it's very creamy and just very hydrating so it feels really great underneath your eyes and it just blends out so nice but the coverage is really great it's very moisturizing and hydrating I have mine in the color 210 light and it just matches my skin perfectly and it has a little bit of a peachy tone so I feel like it covers up dark circles really well I don't have like extremely bad dark circles but I do get some a little bit so this just really helps to brighten up my under eyes and then also conceal any like blue tones and stuff that I might have showing through you can apply this with your finger or I've really been liking 
this brush that came from my Sedona Lace Vortex kit. This is the EB13, and it's a synthetic blending brush, so it just works really well to blend that out underneath your eyes. I showed me using this brush with this concealer when I did my full review of the Sedona Lace Vortex professional kit, and that's another favorite of mine. I have, I'm not going to pull them all out of my brush cups, but I've been loving the Vortex kit. It comes with, like, brushes that are not your typical everyday brushes, but they're more precise brushes, so they're going to be used for fine-tuning your makeup and really making it look professional. So I've just really been loving that kit, and I've been getting use out of them every single day. They've replaced a lot of my everyday brushes as well as provided brushes to do, like, little details in my makeup. So I love that brush kit. I think it's amazing quality. And then I also got the brush belt with it. And it's really great for traveling and everything. So if the giveaway is still up now, then you will get a chance to win that as well. There's a whole 12-piece brush set as well as a bonus brush that comes with it. And then um, the brush belt as well. So you can get a chance to win that if you enter. So then I have a NYX blush. This is the Rouge Cream Blush in Tickled. And I think I showed this maybe in my last favorites. I can't remember. But it's a really pretty peach color. It's like a corally orangey pink with gold shimmer in it. And I just think it's beautiful. The shimmer in it just gives your cheeks this radiant glow that really looks nice. And you don't even have to set it with a powder blush. I have another NYX product here. This is the Glam Shadow Stick. And this one is in the shade Pink Ruby. And it's the closest thing that I could find. I think I mentioned this in the haul where I hauled this. But um, it's the closest shade that I could find to a champagne because I wanted to use this as like an inner corner highlight or even, you know, my upper lip, that sort of thing. Um, but it's actually a peach, like a very light peach color with gold shimmer. But this just works great if you want to use it as an eyeshadow base, but I really like it just for highlighting my inner corners. I'll put it on or right underneath my eyebrow. I put it like on my cupid's bow. It works perfect for highlighting your lip area. It's just nice because it is a powder eyeshadow in a stick form, but it comes off more of like a creamy texture. So then I have a couple lipsticks to share with you guys. The first two are, well, they're all by Maybelline, but the first two are from the Vivids line. I have mine in Shocking Coral, which is a very bright coral color. And then I also have it in Ma Vibrant Mandarin, which is a bright orange color. It's crazy. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. And then I have the other lip color I'm going to show you on over top of it. But these are very bright and vibrant, so you can do a very bold lip with a simple eye or something like that. Or you can also apply them very light with your finger or with a lip brush. And then you can add a gloss or another lipstick over top to make them a lot more sheer. So you're actually getting like a true color with a sheer lipstick, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times when you get a sheer lipstick, you're not getting like a bright color because it's just hard to get that pigment to show up. But these are just so packed with pigment that if you layer them really thin, then you can still get a sheer wash of vibrant color, if that makes sense. But I love doing that with these, and that's really the only everyday way to wear these, is just by sharing them out and adding other colors and stuff to them. So this is the color that I have over top the orange one. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Rose of Attraction. And it's just a simple pink color. It's not, it's just like a rosy color. It doesn't really have much to it. And it does have some shimmer in it. It looks great by itself too, but I really like it paired over top of those vivid lipsticks. It just gives it a nice sheen and blends it out nicely and kind of tones it down a little bit, but it still keeps it bright because this does come off kind of as a bright pink. And I have a couple nail polish favorites. These are both by Essie. This one is from their new resort collection and it is called First Timer. This is unlike any green polish that I have or that I've ever even seen. It's not like a full on mint green, but then again, it's not just a basic green. It's not a teal. It's really hard to describe, but it's just beautiful. And this is going to be perfect for the summer months as well. And it's going to look really cute on the toes. So I tried this out on my nails. I didn't do a nail of the week on it though because when I put my top coat on it, it kind of ruined it. It turned it a little bit yellow, which is weird. Um, I think that was just my sesh beat for some weird reason reacting with this. So I'm probably not going to use it with the sesh beat again, but um, I'll find another top coat to use with it because it is really pretty on your nails. Then I also have Essie Fiji. This is one of their classic colors. A lot of people talk about it. I just never tried it out because I have so many baby pink nail polishes already. But this one is definitely different than the other ones that I have. It's a lot brighter, a candy, bubblegum type of pink. And it's just very light and pretty on your nails. And it's very professional at the same time with being very girly and bright. So I just love that about it. And I always get a ton of compliments when I wear this on my nails. And this one, oh my gosh, this one will get people asking you what is on your nails because it's just so bright and interesting. I think that is all the products that I had to share with you guys. That's just been stuff I've been loving for the past few months. 
So don't forget to enter my giveaway if you haven't already. The link for that will be down below as well as in this video. So look forward to some more spring videos coming up very soon. I'm going to have some spring makeup tutorials as well as spring nail tutorials, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. All the products that I use will be listed on my blog, which is linked down below, and I'll have swatches and all that kind of stuff on there. But I think that is it. I will talk to you guys very soon, and don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, everyone.